Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now this is the last and final video on agricultural income. So last three problems, 12, 13, 14, these three problems I'm going to complete in this video. So this will be the final, last video. Next uh, video, I'll start the next topic of this advanced aspect. So already so many videos I have prepared. So if you have watched all the videos, definitely you are in a position to attempt any theory or problem on agricultural income. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject advanced aspect of income tax. Take out the videos, see the videos of agricultural income. I have explained in detail regarding what are the provisions of tax, income tax act regarding agricultural income. Now, before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So take a printout, keep it ready and take a screenshot of the notes which I have written on the board so that you can have a permanent copy of the solution of these problems. I'm starting the next problem, problem number 12. See the 12th problem. Mr. Anand, a resident individual of 55 years of age. 55 years means non-senior citizen. The basic exemption limit is 2,50,000. So Mr. Anand, a resident individual of 55 years of age, submitted the following particulars related to the previous year. Calculate his tax liability and tax due for the current assessment year. The current assessment year is 2021-22. And uh, income from salary 2,50,000. Agricultural income 1,5,000. So he is having agricultural income and also non-agricultural income. So long term capital gain. It's a special income on which 20% is the flat rate of tax. And short term capital gain. See here. Previous problem, short term capital gain on shares was given. When short term capital on shares are there, there is a flat rate of 15%. If only short term capital gain is given, then it will be included along with other incomes and slab rates will be applied. So in this case, nothing is given, only short term capital gain is given. So this short term capital gain will be included with other incomes like income from salary. There is no special rate of tax 15%. Previous problem we have taken 15% because that was a short term capital gain on shares. Now here short term capital gain will be added. Then winning from lottery, this is a casual income on which there is a flat rate of 30%. Deduction under section 80, this deduction will be allowed from normal incomes. The normal incomes are income from salary and short term capital gain. So we add up income from salary and short term capital gain. From that we deduct deductions under section 80. See, Mr. Anand, computation of tax liability. First of all, income from salary to like 50,000 given. Then short term capital gain 64,000. This is also a normal income. Then add up 3,14,000. From 3,14,000 deduct deductions under section 80 that is given 10,000 the 3 lakh 4,000 is the non-agricultural income and agricultural income is given 1 lakh 5,000 so he is having agricultural income 1 lakh 5,000 non-agricultural income 3 lakh 4,000 clubbing provision will apply step 1 calculating the tax on total income total means agri plus non-agri so 1 lakh 5000 plus 3 lakh 4000, 4 lakh 9000 is the total income, tax on total income, slab income rate tax. The basic slab is 2 lakh 50000. So up to 2 lakh 50000, 2 lakh 50000 income, no rate, nil. Second slab goes from 2 lakh 50000, 1 to 5 lakh. But is our income going up to 5 lakh? No. Our income is only 4 lakh 9000, that's why I'm taking balance. So 4 lakh 9000 minus 2 lakh 50, 159. On this 5% is the rate of tax 7,950. So 7,950 is the tax on total income. Second step tax on exempted income. 
Exempted income means agricultural income plus basic exemption limit of 2,50,000. So here 1,5,000 agriculture income, 2,50,000 basic exemption limit. So 3,55,000 tax on 3,55,000. Up to 2,50,000 nil. Then second slab 2,50,000 1 to 5 lakh. But our income is not going to 5 lakh. 3,55 only. So I'm taking balance. 355 minus 250, 1,5,000, 5%, 5,250. The tax on exempted income, 5,250. Step 3, income tax. Tax on total income minus tax on exempted income. So 7,950 minus 5,250, 2,700 is the tax on normal income. Tax on normal income 2700. To this we add special tax on LTCG, special rate that is 20% flat. So 20% of 27,000, 5400. Now you add up 8100. <coughs> now SSC can claim tax rebate under section 87A because the total income is below 5 lakh rupees. His non agricultural income is 3 lakh 4000. Non agricultural income 3 lakh 4000 below 5 lakh. So he is eligible for tax rebate. Tax rebate is least of the following two actual income tax or 12,500, whichever is less. The so actual income tax is 8,100. So 8,100 or 12,500, whichever is less will be allowed. So 8,100 is allowed. Now tax liability is nil, no tax at all. We assume that uh, winning from lottery already, uh, winning from lottery already tedious was given. So no tax on winning from lottery. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 12. <coughs> now problem number 13. Mr. Vilas Rao Kulkarni, a resident individual of 56 years of age, non-senior. Submitted the following particulars related to the previous year 2021 calculated his tax liability and tax due for the assessment year. Income from profession, normal income. Deduction under section 80, 56,000. This deduction can be deducted from normal income. Income from LTCG, long term capital gain, 20% flat rate of tax, 510,000. Winning from lucky dip gross, casual income. On this casual income, Flat rate of tax 30%. Income from agriculture in India and in foreign country. He is having agricultural income in India and also in foreign country. So in India 38,000. But in foreign country agricultural income is received. So it is normal income. This agricultural income received from a foreign country is a normal income which is taxable in India. And short term capital gain on shares. Short term capital gain on shares again 50% flat rate. Previous problem on shares was not given. So we have taken short term capital gain as a normal income. But here we should not take it as a normal income. Here short term capital gain on shares. So there is a 15% flat rate of tax afterwards we'll take. Then income from house property. This is a normal income. Income from other sources. Normal income. Tedious on casual income. <coughs> Tax deducted at source on casual income, lastly we will deduct. And advance tax paid, lastly we will deduct. Right? Now, Mr. Vilas Rao Kulkarni, computation of tax liability, income from profession 9,20,000, income from agriculture in foreign country 1 lakh, and income from house property 63,000, income from other sources 18,000. All these are the other incomes, normal incomes. Take the normal income 11 lakh 1000. From this deduct deductions under section 80. So deduction under section 80 1 lakh 56,000. So non agricultural income is 9 lakh 45,000. So 9 lakh 45,000 is the non agricultural income. And agricultural income in India is 38,000. Given agricultural income in India is 38,000. Now, first step. Calculating tax on total income. So total income is equal to agricultural income 38,000 and non-agricultural income 9 lakh 45,000. So total income comes to 9 lakh 83,000. Calculate tax on 9 lakh 83,000. <coughs> slab income rate tax. First slab up to 2 lakh 50,000 income. No tax. 
Second slab goes from 2,50,000 rupee to 5 lakh. 2,50,000 rupee se lekar 5 lakh rupees tak. 2,50,000 is the income, 5% tax, 12,500. The next slab goes from 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakhs. But is our income going up to 10 lakhs? No. It is 9,83,000. That's why I'm taking balance. So 9,83 minus 5,83,000. 4,83,000, 20%, 96,600,000. Now what is the tax on total income? 1,9,100. 109,100 is the tax on total income. Now we calculate tax on exempted income. Exempted income means agricultural income plus basic exemption. Agricultural income 38,000. Basic exemption 2,50,000. 2,88,000 is the exempted income tax. Up to 2,50,000 nil. Second, second slab goes up to 5 lakh. But our income is not 5 lakh. 2,88,000. So 288 balancing figure, 288 minus 250, 38,000 is the balance. 38,000, 5%, 1900. So 1900 is the tax on exempted income. Now step three, income tax is equal to tax on total income minus tax on exempted income. So 119,100 minus 1900, 117,200. This is the tax on normal income. Tax on normal income. Now tax on LTCG, long term capital gain, 20% flat rate that you have to remember. So 20% of 5,10,000, 5,10,000 ,10, is given in the problem, LTCG. So 1,2,000 tax. Tax on STCG on shares, short term capital gain on shares. It's a special income. 15% is the rate of tax. So 15% of 45,000, 6,750. Last one, cash uh, tax on casual income. It is given casual income, winning from lucky dip gross, 1 lakh. Lucky dip gross, that is a casual income. So 30% of 1 lakh is 30,000. Take the total, 2,45,950. So 245,950, to this you have to add health and education, says 4%. So 4% of 245,950, 9838, add up 2,55,788. From that, we deduct the TDS on casual income. Already TDS was made, tax deducted at source 30,000. So TDS 30,000 deduct. Apart from that, the SSC paid advance tax 2,40,000. Already advance tax he has paid 2,40,000. So advance tax paid 2,40,000. So 225,788 minus 2,40,000. You are getting minus 14,212. Negative minus minus fourteen thousand to twelve. That means he has paid more tax. Advance tax he has paid two lakh forty thousand. Whereas actual tax liability coming to two twenty five seven eighty eight. That means the SSC has paid more tax in advance. The income tax act income tax department will refund the tax. So if you are getting negative. Right on refund of tax. There is no tax due, but income tax has to be returned back by the income tax department. So round it off to 10 rupees. According to the provisions, the tax should be rounded off to the nearest 10. The last one, 12 rupees are given. So ignore 2 rupees. Make it 10. So 14,210. That is the refund of tax. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 13. Now last and final problem that is 14th one. Mr. Anantaya is owning 5 acres of agricultural land and a house situated in the farmhouse in the village of Bota Soyangram uh, of Ara district since 1961. So he is owning 5 acres of agricultural land and a house situated in farmhouse in the village. During the year 2021, the government of Telangana brought the village into municipality area. Earlier it was in rural area. Now the government of Telangana has brought the village into municipality. That means urban area. Through a special act. During the previous year relevant to the current assessment year, he has given <coughs> agricultural land on annual rent of 2,80,000. That means during the current year, the SSC has leased out his agricultural land on rent 
and during the year he recovered the agricultural rent of 280000 and a house on a monthly rent of 1000 he has let out the house also on a monthly rent of 1000 determine the nature of income from taxation point of view no calculations simply it is asking you what is the nature of income he is having whether it is agricultural income or non agricultural one point you remember agricultural uh, income earned from agricultural land whether in urban area or rural area it is agricultural income exempted from tax whether the land agricultural land is situated in urban area or the agricultural land is situated in rural area agricultural land the income will be exempted from tax both for rural as well as urban so one point is clear he got annual rent of 280,000 that 280,000 is entirely agricultural income no doubt about it whether it is in rural or urban now second question arise for a house on a monthly rent of 1000 he has let out the house now the question income tax provision says if the house is used for uh, storing the agriculture produce in a farmhouse which is located in rural area if the house is located in a farmhouse in rural area then the rent will be agricultural income if the farmhouse is located in urban area then the rent will not be a agriculture income it is taxable under income from house property so we have to see whether the farmhouse whether the house is located in urban area or rural area earlier it was in rural area now by passing a special act by Telangana government that uh, house has come in uh, urban area now the rent received from the house is taxable as income from house property it is not agricultural income so simply 280,000 what he received the rent of agricultural land that is agricultural income the rent received of the house is not agricultural income it is income from house property because the house is situated in urban area that's what I have written here income from agricultural land situated in urban area is treated as agricultural income and it is exempted from tax first point rent received from agricultural land in urban area also it is exempted from tax second income from house situated in a farmhouse if the land are situated in municipal area then it is treated as income from house property if the house is in a farmhouse located in urban area then the income received from the house is taxable under income from house property if the note if the house is situated in an agricultural farmhouse in rural area then income from such house shall be treated as agricultural income so for house we have to see whether it is in rural area or unrural if it is rural area agriculture income if the house is in urban area it is income from house property that's it so these are the problems on agriculture income totally 14 problems i've explained so hope you got the full command on how to treat how to calculate when a person is having agriculture income and non-agriculture income so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share it in your group and then subscribe my channel and don't forget to subscribe my new channel by name Hans Accounting Institute. That is a new channel I have made for IGCSE students. Those who are pursuing Cambridge and Edexcel. So for them, this second channel is very, very important. Even to the normal, I mean viewers also, this channel will be very important to gain the knowledge. So visit the channel Hans Accounting Institute and do subscribe that channel inshallah the next topic I will take up in the next video